Hello everybody. For today I'm going to do another ceramic tile. And I actually remembered to pull multi-surface paints. <laughs> so before I started the video, I did clean this with rubbing alcohol and I marked my center point. You can barely see it, but it's there. And that. So I'm going to start out with this primary blue color. This paint's from Apple Barrel. And I'll put a color listing in the description as I always do. And I'm going to start with oh, the number 14. What's good about using the multi-surface paint is I can bake this and cure it and then it won't come off because it's on a ceramic tile. So now I'm going to go to the number two and I'm going to do some dots around that. And I'm going to do this whole pattern just basing dots off of dots because I don't want to write a whole bunch of pencil marks on this tile. So now I'm going to do two dots in between each of those. So that would be 12 dots total. These are really nice practice pieces to do too because I think I paid eight cents for this tile at Home Depot. So you could get a whole bunch of them. And then you could do like, you know, um, you could tile a tabletop or whatever you want with them or just frame them, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to move up to the number three and I'm going to go to this electric blue color. All of these are Apple Barrel multi-surface. I'm going to do another row with the number three. Now I'm going to go to a bigger dot. The number nine. And I'm going to use this lighter summer sky color. And I'm going to do every other one in this row. Okay, now I'm going to go to the number two. And I'm going to go back to that primary blue color and I'm going to walk dots around these light blue ones that I just did. Okay, so using the number two, I'm going to put one more dot with that electric blue right there in between these and like in between those other light blue ones. And then I'm going to go with the number two again with the primary blue and do one more dot right in between on top of the ones we just did. Now I'm going to switch up colors and I'm going to go with this yellow sunbeam and the number eight I'm doing a dot right in between each one of these now I'm going to go down 
for the number four. And we're using that same color. I'm going to just put a dot in coming out from these. And then with the number three, I'm going to do a dot connecting. So one in between each one of those. Now I'm going to go to this dark pink color. Paradise Pink. And I'm going to go with a great big one, uh, number 12. I'm going to go right off of where we did that small center dot. Now I'm going to go to a number three and I'm going to use the yellow that I used before and walk dots around these pink ones. Now using the number three still, I'm going to do another row walking dots in that dark pink, which was paradise pink. So now I'm going to come in with oh, the number two and that darkest primary blue color. Put a dot on either side of these yellow ones and then one right in the middle. Now I'm going to go up to the number three and I'm going to use that medium color blue, which is the electric blue. And I'm going to make a dot kind of out from that. And drag it towards it. And so with the number, oh, maybe I'll go down to a number two. And I'm going to use the electric blue this time. Like I said, I was going to last time. And I'm going to do a dot. pull in like that. Now I'm going to go to the number 12. And with that primary blue color, which is the darkest one, I'm going to do a dot out from these. Okay, then using the number six with that same color, I'm going to do a dot on the base of each one of those on the, each side of it. Okay, let's go down to the number four and do a dot in the center of these. Okay, 
Now I'm going to incorporate this Princess Pink color, which is a lighter pink. And I'm going to go with the number three. And I'm just going to lock dots. From the one blue to the other blue dot. Okay, then I'm going to go to the number nine, and I'm going to use that sunbeam, that yellow color, and I'm going to put a dot right at the ends of these. Okay, now I'm going to come in with that dark pink again with the number 10 and I'm going to place it in between these blue ones but out from those swoops. Now I'm going to go down to the number two, and I'm going to walk those pink, that light pink, princess pink dots around these with the number two, but I'm not going to walk it. I'm just going to dot it, so they're going to be all the same size. Okay. And I think I'm going to bring this yellows down too. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with the number four and do a couple dots, and then I'm gonna lower it. So two dots on each side with the number four. Go down to the number three, and I'm just going to bring them to those those blue dots. Okay, and now I want to kind of join. I think I'm going to go with the number. A nine with the darkest blue color and I'm gonna go out from these just a little ways now I'm gonna go to the number three with that same blue color, I'm going to join these. I'm going to start at the dot that's furthest out and go up to the other blue dot. Number five, and that very lightest color of blue, the summer sky. And I'm going to do a dot on either side of that. Okay, now I'm going to go to the number three. And I'm going to go to that darkest pink color, which is Paradise Pink. And I'm going to kind of come out in the middle here. So I kind of want to do the same pattern out here as I did there. And I'm going to angle out. Just a little bit. Okay. 
And I'm going to take that lightest color pink and I'm going to do on both sides, still with the number three. Kind of barely close to the other one. I'm going to leave that for the pattern and I'm just going to come back and top dot. So let's go. I'm going to go with a number five and that primary blue for these light ones in the center. And then with the number six, I'm going to use that princess pink color on these big Pink dots. And then I'm going to go to the number five with the princess pink on these. The number six with the lightest blue, which is summer sky. I'm going to do those outer big blue dots. The great big ones. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I kind of like it just the way it is. So there we have it. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.